Turning now to an update on a re-entry program we introduced to you earlier this week out of Prunedale. It's designed to help formerly incarcerated men make a successful transition back into the community. Action News reporter Sierra Starks took a tour of that house today. She has our story. Construction is coming along inside this yellow house in Prunedale. We pretty much knocked this whole wall out and then so we could open up this whole area for, for uh, usable space. Yeah, we all chipped in, and, you know, poured our sweat and blood and tears in this house. Jordan Jeske and his family take in formerly incarcerated men, give them jobs and a path to a fresh start. Jeske and his family live on one side of the house, the men live on the other. They can come up here, hang out, watch TV. Since coming to the neighborhood at the start of the year, others on the block have voiced concerns that they're not comfortable with the idea of this particular kind of house in their area. They were very skeptical of, of what we're doing here and I mean we've been here for almost almost a year now you know and there was no conflicts or anything we've been living peaceful lives and just trying to just help and just get these guys you know back on on their feet you know after almost uh, 39 years incarcerated most of it in segregation um, the Jeskies allowed me to come to their house. Fernando Medina has been out of prison for two months. He says he looks to the men who've been in the program longer than he has for navigating the new world in front of him. They've experienced some of the pitfalls that I'm experiencing right now, so they're there to help me out to make the changes. Because many homes throughout California that are parole homes are actually just homes where a person goes to and there's not much structure or not much guidance or direction over that. Without that structure, Ricky Cadriel says many men return to what they know, which in turn could be a contributing factor to California's recidivism rate. The comfort of the crimes they know how to commit, the comfort of the people that they used to run with before. Those are the things that bring them comfort. Those are the things that they think will help them, and that's what they turn to. Whereas with homes like this and with Jordan and his wife, we don't, have, we don't need that. We come here, we have a home, we have a stable environment to start off on. And a family, should they need support. Sierra Starks reporting for us. Right now, six men live inside the reentry home, but they have graduated one person already. Jeske says he went on to uh, Fuller Seminary and is now pursuing his master's degree.